Excel, Excel but I, have, I, I think I have a very basic knowledge, but not deep knowledge about Excel. Excel. So, so it will be very effective for me to get training from yourself. Exactly. Thank you very much. Exactly. We are, here, we are here to help you how we can proceed with the difference. Good morning, sir. I am Sukuma Chakravarti, uh, working in the IC as cost, in costing department. Sir, so, uh, we, we have to deal with large volume of data, data actually. So, so I think your training will help, help us a lot and a lot of formulas also you will teach us. Great. Right. Very nice. Right. Very nice. Manish Rana. Manish. Sanchita Yeah, Sanchita, yes uh, Yes, uh, I am Sanchita Haldar Working in DIC Kolkata In new department, department. Okay. Uh, I have uh, some idea in Excel But uh, I want a Bad uh, uh, idea with you Okay, great We'll do that, we'll do that so, Okay uh, Samsung with the name of Samsung SMF4. Can I know the name, please? There is a list showing. Shubhankar. Uh, 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 yes, yes, I have so I have to download. Exactly. We'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hi, yes. My name is Adas Kataria and I am working in the Nexo CCTV department in technology. So I have uh, some basic knowledge of Excel, but uh, I think uh, here I can mention a lot of uh, new things with advanced Excel training. Thank you. Great. Okay. Next. Next, anyone else? Hi, I am Pohinkela. I am head of the sales planning team, which is under SCM. We are using Excel for making dashboards, so we know we are using reports and the lookups and simple forms. Okay, okay. Uh, Chiranji. Chiranji, this is your turn now. Uh, yes, good morning. I am Chiranji Vajra. I am looking at all India Capex. Uh, and in the function of all India. Okay, okay. Adesh. I guess. Adesh. Hello. Yes. Good, good morning. So my, my name is Manish Rana and I am looking here for indirect acquisition and I have some basic knowledge of uh, Excel like uh, VLOOKUPS and uh, PIVOTS only. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. My, my name is Ingrid Kato. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, I guess there is a network in issue. Here of, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, how many of you are from Bangladesh? Two members. Two members. One is Rehan and uh, another one? Pressure. Pressure. Okay, 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 fine, fine, great. So, okay, let's start. Uh, I'm a Microsoft certified trainer having more than 15 plus years of ex experience in training. I used to work for many organizations like Times of India, Hindustan Times, Indian Market Research Bureau, All India Management Association. This was uh, the you can say my beginning 
now i am a freelance trainer i have trained almost 20000 plus participants like you so i guess you will enjoy the session so this is all about me so now starts with the how we can proceed the training so first of all you have to just understand the logic and the road map how we can proceed so we have divided this training into three parts first part is called data entry second part is called data analysis and the third part is data visualization that means if you are working on excel then you can face it might be two problem either with the existing data or you have to create data either you have to work on the existing data or you have to create new data that means you have two challenges whether you are working on the existing data or you have to create data so in this section we will learn 30 40 tricks or topic so easily you can understand the data entry kind of thing so that data cleaning data trimming sorting filter they, these are very basic kind of thing but that is very much important second part is data analysis that means your data is ready and now you are going to just create reports and all so this is most important part of the excel that is intermediate to advanced you can say because here we will learn about 300 plus topics in this section so we will learn each and everything that is very much common in the industry like v lookup h lookup reverse lookup two dimensional lookup what if analysis financial analysis mis reporting and the last section is that is called we can say advanced to pro because now you have to just display your report in the form of dashboard so we will learn so many dashboards here so you can easily implement this and just represent your data with like more presentable form so here we will learn dashboards that can be kpi dashboard that can be sales dashboard that can be performance dashboard so there are several dashboards we will learn in the last so this is the data visualization main an important thing is data analysis before data analysis you have to work on the data so you can work properly so you have to just work on the basic data if you are if you are, there is a problem with the basic data you can't uh, create proper report so every part is important so this is the road map so as per my understanding most of you are aware with the excel basic excel maybe some part of the intermediate excel but yes we can start with the zero we'll start with zero and we have to move up to dashboard level so suppose we are here and we have to reach here and this is the road map so in this case you have to learn everything each and everything is important if you are here even if you are very 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 like like new to excel even that you can create dashboard after few sessions so important thing is after each class will provide you notes will provide you videos so main thing is you have to do practice if you do practice then you can raise your query easily 
so these are the important thing apart from notes will share you the same sheets notes videos and practice is important on this so we have to start from the beginning from the basic and we have to reach up to dashboard so we need some practice so now we can start with the very basic thing it might be if you are very good in excel maybe it might be we, you are average in excel or maybe very beginners in the excel no matters we'll start from scratch if you are aware with these things that is very good if you are not aware with this you can learn if you are aware with this this is a kind of polishing kind of thing so every part is important so learn carefully see carefully there is a uh, there are some rules you can say i request you all to just mute your uh, uh, mute your voice if you have any question if you want to ask any question then there is a hand raise option you can raise your hand and then will tell you the answer if you, there is a inquiry or any question or query shuresh ji can you please mute the voice i have control but i think suresh ji i guess you are not able to unmute no worry okay now everyone is muted now so if you have any query first just raise your hand and then ask any question so these are the two rules you have to follow entire session you have to just mute your voice if you have any query inquiry doubts just raise your hand and then unmute so now this is very basic in future if you explain any functions or formulas first of all you have to understand the basic term of the excel which is very basic you can say so basic term so we have six seven terms in excel which is very much important first one is rows second one is columns third one is cell fourth one is range fifth one is cell address next sheet and the last one is data so we have so many terms are in the excel but these term terms are very 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 important because if you are explaining something if you are exploring something so this is very key terms that you have to know so main point is what is rows what is columns so 1 2 3 4 these are the rows a b c d is the column these are very basic thing this box when we can enter anything so this is called cell actually cell is a intersection between rows and column but for understanding you can see you can say uh, there is a box this box is called cell what is the range so range is more than one cell how if you are creating a data suppose if you are creating a data and you take this area for creating data so this entire area is called range now come to cell address see if i am talking about this cell so the cell address of this cell is f4 we can say f4 because you have to understand the row and column combination 
so this is the d2 you can say this is d2 so there is a another cell that is d2 so you have to understand the name of the cell that is called cell address now come to sheet or sits if you are working in single sheet so that is sheet if you are working on multiple sheets so that is called sits and the most important part is data because we will work on the data either data entry or data analysis or data visualization so data is everywhere from your side any of you can explain what is data what is your understanding about data because we are working on data so can you explain what is data anyone anyone can you unmute anyone if you know what is data so can you just unmute and say something on data divakar anyone adesh what is data sir tell me ग्रेट अगेन वेरी गुड अगेन वेरी गुड एनी वन एल्स One by one, uh, one by one, uh, one by one. Sorry, sorry. Yes. So, so data is information that has been passed into a form that is efficient for moment of processing. Great. Every answer is good. Yes. Data. You can say data is a collection of correct information. Collection of correct information actually collection of information is called data but that should be correct if you are working on the data and if they are not correct then you have to correct it first then you can get the right answer or right dashboards or right report so you can say data means collection of correct information these are the very 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 basic term so we are covering from the zero and we have to move up to dashboard level so this is the road map so we'll start with the basic as started and we have to move to dashboard so i'll just show you we are here actually and we have to move up to this level if you go up to this level what kind of dashboard you can create i'll just show you some example and then we can proceed further either you are working on the simple data or complex data or maybe huge number of data everywhere we can apply this kind of dashboard suppose there is a data this is very small data uh sumit can you just mute your voice please yes now is good so suppose we have a data containing employee id name and their quarterly performance for a year this is very small data but you can apply this logic to any number of data that can be 10 lakhs or 10000 or 5000 no matters if you have a logic if you have a formula if you have a capacity to create some logic if you have a idea then 
easily you can do it so no matters data is small or large so we have very small data containing employee id name and quarterly their performance so now see if we create dashboard on this data so we can create like this see this is the same dashboard and apply for this data now just see if i am just putting here one so you will get the first quarter data along with their performance everything is in visualized form if you are just clicking here or writing here two so you will get according to the quarter two three four five like this we have a control here we can control from this single cell same there is a star effect is there if you just uh, set a number of star based on their performance quarterly performance then you can see the number of star if you are clicking here quarter 1 so mostly they are very good performer so there is a star rating criteria here there is a criteria here on this criteria there is a dashboard if i am clicking one so most are very good like seller or performer in the first quarter if you are talking about the second quarter so you can see some changes there three four something like that so we can control we can represent our data in the form of star rating their performance apart from this there is a option button dashboards this is very good dashboard just option means you have four options if you are presenting your data quarterly if you will present your data weekly so you have or you can just create seven buttons here if you are creating your monthly dashboards then you have to use 12 option button there so we have only four quarter so see the result of the option button i am just clicking on option button 1 so this is the dashboard if i am clicking on this so you can see the data reports dashboard all are changing even there is a condition here if you have very good like performance then you can see there is a green signal here green background is there if you are average performer or then yellow and if you are poor performer so red so we can implement this kind of things in dashboard to present your data there is a very good dashboard another dashboard which is called a speedometer dashboard which is for performance analysis if you are talking about individual person so individual means you are talking about either brijesh or anand or ranjit or mithilesh something like that so th there is a dashboard if you are talking about the brijesh just put one so you will get the data of one and according to brijesh the average performance is 54% now you can see the speedometer effect here if you are clicking just writing two so you can get the second data which is anand with the 73% 4 5 6 7 no matters how much data you have you can just present your data in the form of this we can control this dashboard from here or there is a button if you are just clicking here you can see how dashboard is changing how name are becoming digambar to akshay or something like that so we can control this dashboard from here or from here or from here so we you can control your dashboard as you want so there is a list box dashboard here is a list of the person if you are directly suppose this is the dashboard based on the a uh, performer you can create dash dashboard city wise 
मे बी प्रोडक्ट वाइज मे बी कंट्री वाइज इफ आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन सुमित सो यू कैन गेट द रिपोर्ट ऑफ सुमित इफ यू आर क्लिकिंग ऑन मेथलेस यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट हाउ रिजल्ट शो सो दिस इज द डैशबोर्ड सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट सो मेनी डैशबोर्ड्स देर इज ट्रैफिक सिग्नल इफेक्ट इज देयर दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्चुअली डैशबोर्ड सी इफ आई एम राइटिंग वन सो दिस बिकम ग्रीन इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेकेंड क्वार्टर सो दिस इज येलो हाउ दिस वर्क हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस एंड वी कैन प्रेजेंट आर डेटा वी कैन जस्ट traffic signal effect we can apply so there are several there is a battery effect here here overall performance is 60% if you are talking about third quarter if you are talking about the second quarter so this is lesser only 56% if you are talking about the first one first quarter this is 82% so we have so many things that we have to learn and then we can apply this but question is how if you work on this part then you can create this that is why practice is important either you are starting from here if you are even not aware with the excel what is excel even that you can go up to this level but after each session you have to do practice so this is very important i am requesting you will provide these things but you have to do this this is my part training is there after training you will get sheets same sheets notes videos so you have everything but you have to do practice for this level so now again we move to basic term which is very much important 1 2 3 4 is rows a b c d is columns if you are talking about the single box that is called cell if you are talking about a area called range if you are talking about the particular cell address which is d2 a1 b2 e8 something like that seat if you are talking about single seat then seat or if you are talking about multiple seats that is called seats or that can be workbook the most important thing is data because we have to work on data so what is data data is a collection of correct information so now we have to understand how we can proceed so we have five pillars or six pillars where we have to work on the excel <clears throat> so we have to work on the pillars first we have to understand the things how it will go so we have again divided your complete training into five pillars so what is the first pillar second pillar third pillar and so on so first pillar is functions what is the difference between functions and formula so most of the persons or participants are not very much aware with the difference between functions and formulas but you have to understand if i am talking about v lookup each lookup sum if if what is this this is functions or formulas anyone can you tell me if i am talking about v lookup h lookup sum average minimum maximum something like that so these are functions or these are formulas these are functions these are functions very good exactly these are not formulas these are functions so what is formulas formula means the combination of functions if you have a database and you are creating something you are creating a mice reports 
dashboard then you have to merge some functions and that merging is called formulas that means you can say formula is a combination of functions but if you are creating formulas you have to be very good in functions first so first of all we will work on the function area how we can work on some some if if nested if something like that and then we have to understand how we can join the functions how we can combine the function that is called formula now come to third pillar which is tab options tab option means what so if you are clicking on data tab so this is called tab if you are clicking on data tab so there are several options like filter sorting text to column remove duplicate what if analysis these are fun options under view there are several option under data there are several option under insert there are several options so these are tab options now come to the most important part is assignments after each session will provide you some work for you to do practice but this will happen after third or fourth session not from the first session because first two three maybe session will be very basic in the intermediate section will provide you some assignments to do this to understand the things how we can implement the functions or formulas or tab options so these are again very good things that you have to do and the last is dashboard that you are aware now ki what is dashboard what kind of dashboard we will learn the next is very 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 much important you can see the fifth pillar after fifth pillar there is a sixth pillar which is parallelly important which is sort keys many of the persons they are using most of the cases in the most of the cases they are using mouse if you want to copy it then you have to select it right click there is a copy option but instead you can just control c you can do just control c control v all control v so sort keys is parallelly important so this is not under pillar but this is important so you can say this is again a pillar but you don't have to do so many practice on sort keys just you have to do practice on 30 to 50 keys so that is fair enough for any analysis kind of things thanks so we will work on the 30 to 50 sort keys and majorly you have to plan out your whole session like this so this is the pillars that where we have to work on now this is basic term this is pillar now training starts so first of all whether you are from hr background or sales background or maybe finance background or maybe from analytics background see there is a topic called in build in build custom list so if you are from any background you have to create weekly quarterly monthly this type of sales report or performance report any kind of report but under excel we have very good option if you are creating weekly report you don't have to write monday after sunday many of you are even still using sunday monday something like that but in excel you don't have to do this just write one name and just drag it down you will get the complete list this is in build this is in build custom list same if you are creating monthly report you don't have to write 12 month just you have to write one month any one month suppose you are starting from may month so just write may and just drag it down so you will get 12 month data so we have 
four actually four inbuilt custom lists. So one is days and one is month and another is the sort form of this. That means if you have less area to present your report, then you can use the sort form of Sunday. So just write, uh, just write S U M and drag it down. The same way, if you are starting from Jan, you can start with Jan. You can start from anywhere, not only from Sunday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. You can start from anywhere, and this is in build feature. So this is called in build custom list. That means we have four list which is already in the Excel. Just you have to understand this is here in the Excel. But few of the people, maybe few of you are not aware with this. Honestly, honestly, can you tell me how many of you are not aware with this? earlier before this you were not aware with this i was not aware <laughs> great yes so this is very like basic thing but we have to learn so this is called in build custom list where we can save our time we can save our in institutional time organization time so if you are saving your time that means you are saving your organization time so you are 12 times faster than others. If other is doing one by one, one by one, but if you are aware with this, that means you are 12 times faster. You are seven times faster. So training, our motto is to how we can save our time. After the completion of this training, easily you can save your two to three hours per day. Apart from basic or intermediate or advanced knowledge, Easily, you can save your two or three hours if you are very much, uh, you can say, good uses of Excel or you are reporting, you are playing with the data, then you can save easily your two hours or three hours. See, this is called inbuilt custom list. So, for your understanding, there is a slides, there is a notes called inbuilt custom list. Anyone can see, easily understand how this will go. So apart from the practically just I am showing you, apart from this you can see if you forget anything you can just take help from here. So there is a notes, everything is mentioned, how we can proceed. So this will help you a lot. So we will provide you 100 plus short notes on this. Now come to the second topic which is very 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 important which is called custom list creation and I am not sure but I can tell you none of you are aware with this basic and tricky things that we are going to tell you. How? Just see, I'm asking you, uh, so I'm writing few names from your list here. So there is a name called Chiranji, another is Adesh, another is Prasoon, so leave it. I have three names here and the fourth name is Alina. So we have four names here. So if you are going to just drag it down, if you are dragging your name, what will happen? If I am writing your name, sir, if I am writing your name, Chiranjeev, and drag will drag. So what will happen? If you are aware, you will get the same name. Is it right or not? Adesh, 
if you write your name if we will drag it down or up or left or right you will get the same value yeah, yeah. or even in prasoon then what is the special in elena if i am writing elena name so we are getting other name also along with the elena like meenakshi priti is there radha is there mukesh is there prerna is there if you are, if you are writing patna so generally if you write patna you will get the same name but here you can see the, along with the patna we are getting list of delhi mumbai something like that if you are writing india generally you will get same name like this but what is the special so there is a india pakistan japan america china something like that so how we can do this and how much this is important the point is we will learn this trick in just 10 second less than 10 seconds but from now you can save your 20 to 40 minutes from today aaj se from today you will save your time 20 to 40 minutes by using this trick because if you are in reporting if you are playing with the data if you have create if you are going to create multiple report or you are creating multiple report like city wise report you have to create person wise report you have to create country wise report you have to create sales person wise you have to re create report so always you have to either write again and again or you have to copy from another area then you have to paste i am not doing copy and paste method or writing same thing so this is the trick which we will cover in this custom list creation so now how we can do this so first of all for this you have to create a list because our computer is not very much aware with the chiranjeev or prashun or adesh so you have to just create a list first one time activity you have to create few names if this is the list of your team if if you are a team leader and this is your team so there are several responsibility on you you have to first understand or create attendance report on this you have to create performance report on this you have to create work distribution of report you have to create work progress report you have to create work submission report so there are several reports can be created on this list if this is a team of a 5 or 7 or 10 or 20 or 100 member now question is how we can do like this so this trick is called custom list creation so simply we will take only less than 10 second what we will do just select your data select your data and go for file there is a file option so there is a file and last option is options and under options we have so many options are there but you have to click on advance up to this level we will spend only 3 seconds how after selection first second file options advance under advance there are several options but you have to drag it down and there is a option called custom list or edit custom list you have to click here this is the fourth second import this is the fifth second and then okay sixth second that's it our data is ready now if you click if you write your first name or any of the name from your list and if you drag it you will get the whole list of your team team if you are writing from chiranjeev again you will get the data if you are writing from prasoon 
you will get the data so this is the very 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 good trick that you have to understand the logic and you can save your time again my question is honestly i guess none of you are aware with this because i have trained more than 20000 participants but no one tell about this honestly ki i know before that if from your side anyone honestly anyone were aware with this anyone no no exactly because this is very small tricks but how much this is important you can see acha more main important thing is you can use this list in any file or any sheets like if you are working on the book 1 and if you open your another dashboard and here i am changing the data here instead of brajesh i am writing prasoon and then i am dragging it down yes this is working now that means this is the feature which is not only applicable for the same sheet or same file you can apply this trick on any of your file which is existing file or if you are going to create new file then you can use this trick and you can save your time if you are creating or making suppose 15 20 reports so easily you can save your 20 30 40 minutes by using this trick so this is very important and again for your understanding we have very small notes on this and this is called custom list creation custom list creation so now you can see the process after selecting there is a file option there is a options advanced custom list import okay so everything is there you have to follow this my question is if suppose you want to add few name few more names here you are hiring three another member in your team so how we can add it this so now point is just click on file go to the options and advance under advance you have to open custom list under custom list see there is a you have to drag it down this is the last list you have created i have created so many list so this is the current list if you want to add few names just click on the last name press enter and just add few names like i am writing adding sanjay i am writing here rajesh i am writing here raj i am writing here sunil so after this after adding this you have to click on add add there is a add add means if you are editing your list then you have to use add button and then okay so from now if you write a name and if you drag you will get the other name also along with the prerna or preeti or adesh now point is we can edit also if you don't want sanjay here you want another name instead of sanjay so again you have to fulfill the same rule go to the options advance edit custom list and just go down and you don't want sanjay here so just delete the name of the sanjay here you want a name called like gagan so after writing gagan 
again you have to do the same work that is add and then ok and then ok so now save the most important thing is you can start from any name this either you can start with the prerna or elena or adesh or brajesh if there is a name in your list so you can start with any name and you will get the same result here so this is the trick called custom list creation and this is this is basic but this is very important majorly 99.9% percent percent person are not aware with this but now from today you can apply this trick on your database or in your in your reports now we have to move to the next chapter which is called serial number creation this is called serial number creation suppose if you are working on the big data suppose if you are working in a examination department and you have to create roll number which is starting from 1 and you have to create 1 2 10 lakhs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 something like up to 10 lakhs my question is how much time you will take to do this how much time so again question from you uh sumit sumit yes how much time you will take to do this we have to create a roll number series starting from 1 and we have to create up to 10 lakhs hardly 1 minute 1 minute okay great so you will create in 1 minute i want the rule how sumit yes. how we can do this just to select like two numbers one or two okay and drag it drag down till the end okay great so question is if you are creating series multiple series then you have to just write two numbers select both the number and drag but question is i have to create 1 to 10 lakhs you are saying 1 minute but i'll just give you 1 to 2 hours even you can't do because this is not like 500 or 200 numbers you have to start and drag it down you don't have to create 200 or 500 or thousands number we have to create 10 lakhs number so answer is correct you will do like this but this will take around 1 and 2 hours is it correct or not yeah <laughs> if you are talking about the small data so definitely hmm. you can do it in 1 minute but my question is we have to create 1 to 10 lakhs you have to spend at least 1 to 2 hours even more than that because yes. 95% professionals doing this the same thing by using drag but point is you have to spend this much time if you are working with the big data like this any other anyone else yes yes manish yes please sir uh, one ke baad uh, adding uh, in uh, third column adding one so that means you will do like this yes so this is the same control and control 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 and paste control and v okay copy and then paste yes so where you have to paste you have to paste here so you have to select if you will select your range like we required only 5 lakhs data or 2 lakhs data then you have to go for 
this like this so you no, would no, take like, uh, huh i'll just, just copy this uh, cell number 3 copy okay control c control v control n and where 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 control v to end to 10 uh, like door so i don't know uh, i don't need na so we have only required 7 lakhs or 5 lakhs or only 10 lakhs so why should we can create 10 lakhs for 8576 so if you require only that cell in in a box okay okay yes here we will type 7 lakhs great yes this is better option so in this case what you can do is so there is a option called if you want so you can write here suppose a 5000 so directly you can move here here you can write something and then you have to copy this then control shift down and then paste so this is the option so this will take i guess one or two minutes one or two minutes so this is better option this is actual we can do so now i'll tell you the another way where we can just take less hardly 10 seconds or you can say less than 10 seconds in less than 10 seconds we can do how just write one number where you want to start write first number where you want to start and then there is a home tab under home tab there is a fill option see first number right you have to write first number go for fill there is a series option under series you have two option either you have to move to row wise or column wise so we have to move in the single column so click on column step value means that will increase by 1 by 1 and this is the stop value if you want 5 lakhs just click on 5 lakhs so 5 lakhs data is ready now again i am doing for 10 lakhs just single click fill series column and 10 lakhs that's it so directly you can create this within few seconds that is called expert level so this is very basic topic but expert kind of thing so either you can use this trick or or drag or plus kind of thing something like this. we have so many options but this is the best option that you can use or apply and you you can save your time again we have very good notes on this whole process are written there just you have to follow and do practice see so write any number so i am writing here write any number okay then go to the home tab we are in home tab only so you have to search where is fill so there is a fill under fill there is a series yes series is there under series we have two options either row or column so you have two options either row if you want horizontal series select row if you want vertical series just column and then set stop value i want only 5000 no worry just write 5000 then okay so this is the trick that you have to follow and you can save your time so this is the fourth chapter fourth basic chapter which is very 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 important so how this is going on so first of all we have to understand rows columns cell range address sheet data pillars in build custom list how this is important custom list creation is awesome you have to practice a lot on this so you can save your multiple hours again serial number is very much common we can do it through multiple ways but this is the best ways 
best way to do it now we have to learn something new which is new chapter but before starting this just give you 10 minutes break so refresh yourself and will this is not exactly 10 minutes that can be 5 to 10 minutes so if you want a small break please go and just refresh yourself we'll meet after 5 to 10 minutes and do the next part after this break <laughs>